Hello class. Good morning all. How are you? Fine? Great. So now it's time to begin with our today's classes. And I hope that you all have attended your prayer session. You have done that? Good. And practicing yoga every day? Yes. Very good. So you all have to practice yoga. And those students who are not doing it, you should start doing it. Because daily routine exercises are really really very important for us so that is why in between i keep on reminding you that please attend your yoga class your yoga session very sincerely very seriously and do all those yogas which sir is teaching you because that is again making your body flexible clear and when you have a flexible body it is really uh, i can say it helps you rather it helps you uh, in various dance forms when you will take dance classes in upcoming days that is going to help you out a lot second thing when you do stretching that gives a good movement to your muscles when you play then you don't get hurt easily you don't get hurt easily because your muscles get flexible clear? ok so now class moving towards our today's classes it's time to begin with our today's classes so today is 7th October 2020. What is the date? 7th October 2020. And the day is Wednesday. Many of you are still saying is Wednesday. It's not Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Is that clear to all of you? What it is? Wednesday. Yes. So today the first class we always have of English. Yes. So what we are doing in English? We are learning about different O sound words, isn't it? Ma'am is teaching you how we are blending different consonants with O sounds, with different O family words and making new sounds, new words, learning new words and their meaning as well as we are trying to use them in our daily conversation, isn't it? See, O family ke saath hum different consonants ko blend karte hain new new words learn karte hain, unka meaning samajhte hain and then we learn how to speak them aap unko bolna bhi sikhte hain na and with that what happens you can use them i teach you ki ab aapko agar is word iska meaning pata hai so you know how you can use it if you want to refer something like this you can use that word isn't it so what is that doing that is somewhere increasing your vocabulary Clear? So let's move to our today's topic. Topic is ought. O, to. So when these two words, the sound mixed together, when the sound of these two alphabets mixed together, what comes out? O, to. Ought. O, to. Ought sound words. So which sound words we are going to learn today? Today we are going to learn about Ought sound words. Say with me. O, T, Ought. Say with me. O, T, Ought. Ought sound words. Which sound words we are going to learn? O, T, Ought sound words. Clear? So let's move and start learning with each picture. Shall we begin? Okay. So first here we have a square and there is something in it. So what is that? Okay, I'll give you another example. If you remember, when we start learning alphabets, when we start alphabets, start karte hai seekhna, to ma'am always give you one to write. Aapko pata hota hai ki wahan se start karna hai. So what is that? Uh, I'll just show you that here on board. See, ye aapki line hai. Uh, four line wali pattern notebook hai na English ki so these are the two blue lines now ab aapko maan lije hi haan pe you have to write alphabet A aapne naya naya alphabet seekha hai and I give you this so what is this it's a dot yes the or dot understood that what is that so now tell me what should I write for this what picture is this it's a picture of the or dot. Clear? The sound is mi 
mixed with odd sound. Which sounds are mixing together? The sound is getting mixed with odd sound. And we are getting the word the odd dot. Clear? So this dot can be anything like not only for writing, for drawing, for anything. Sometimes I give you puzzles to join alphabets. Joining alphabets hain. Uh, jab aap joining numbers hain jinko join kar you are making a picture. So some dots are given to you. Isn't it? Dot is this. Clear? So now how we are going to write? So what is the first sound you are getting? D. So we will write D. D says the D is blended with art. And we got the word dot. The art dot. See the art dot. Clear? Now, whenever you are doing any type of reading, Koi remember in the previous class I have taught you season's name also. Mamne aapko season's name karai hai. So when I in that class also was spelling aapko big lag rahi hai. Summer, winter, rainy. But if you will learn those spellings with the help of phonic sound, आप जब उन्हें phonically learn करोगे, you will find them very easy for you. This is why I am always teaching you with sounds. D, O, T, D, O, T. Clear? Say with me. D, O, T, D, O, T. Okay. Now moving to the next picture. So this picture is very much familiar to you. We have drawn this picture in winter seasons also when we were learning about the winter season. So what is this? Something I have drawn with red color. What is coming out of the cup? Steam is coming out. Now if the steam is coming out, so can you tell me what type of drink it will be? Will it be a cold or hot? Huh? Hot? Hot? So it's hot. Hey na? When in the morning mama gives you milk, so what type of milk she gives you? Hot. मतलब बहुत hot नहीं होता, it's lukewarm, but it is referred as her hot hot, isn't it? Her hot. So again we are going to blend sounds here. Now listen carefully the sounds that are coming. Her her is mixed with hot sound. Which two sounds are getting mixed? With odd sound, we are blending the sound of her, her alphabet. So see how we are going to write. So this is her. Is it her? Yes. So now with her, we are going to mix odd. Odd. And we got the word her, odd, hot. Understood? How we got it? Her, odd, hot. What is the meaning of hot? Hot means garb. Morning mein milk peete hai. Then when mama is giving you food. That is also hot. Yummy lagta hai na hume. So her hot hot. Hot means which is something. Something that is garam. Okay. Okay. Now moving to the next here. So what is this? It's a. You remember the story. The thirsty crow. Once there was a crow. In the search of water, the water kiss me tha. The water, there was a very less water in a. So remember that story we did. The thirsty crow. Usme water kiss me hota hai. Pot. Yes, you yourself came out with a word. So when you are pronouncing this word, tell me the sounds that are coming. P, O, T, pot. So again, it's an odd sound word. P, O, T. Again an odd sound word we have learnt. So what is this? It's a pot. And many of us also keep it in our kitchen. Ask your mom whether she is having it in the kitchen or not. Or you can go and check whether you are having a pot. So th these pots are made of mud. Mitti ke hote hai ye. Or you can say clay ke hote hai. And uh, the potter. Jo uh, potters hote hai. Jo inu banate hai. And then we purchase from them and we keep them in our kitchen. And we store water in it. Kya store karte hai? Isme kya karte hai? Water. And the water that is stored in it, we use it for drinking, for cooking. Is that clear? So what we call it? P, O, T, P, O, T. So again, let us start writing the spelling here. So the sound that is coming, P. 
P. And with P, which sound is coming? Ot sound. So let us make it P Ot Pot. P Ot Pot. Understood that? P is mixed with Ot sound. And we are getting Pot. P Ot Pot. Got that? Okay. Now moving to the next picture here. Can you tell me what is this? Okay, I'll show you with the help of a hand key. And I'll tell you what is this. But till then just try and tell what can, what do you think it can be. Yes, can you tell me what it can be? Okay, fine. I'll show you. So can you see I have a hand key with me. It's a big piece. Huh? It's a hand key I have. So what I'm doing is, just see, I am making something in it. Now tell me what is this? What I have done here? I have made a knot. What is this? Knot. Knot means gaat lagana. See? So this is with the help of a rope. I am showing you this picture. is In this picture, the knot is made with rope. Rassi ki gaat hai. But I can show you with hanky also. So many of you do this in class. I know that. So you all are a hanky with you. Take a hanky piece of hand. Uh, not a piece. Or you can take any piece of cloth. If not a hanky, take any piece of cloth. So like this and we do it like this. So what we have done? It's a knot. Gaat lagdi na isme? So knot is gaat. So we call it knot. Na or knot. Is that clear to all? What we call it? Na or knot. Now class. Sorry. Now when we want to write knot. As I told you in knob. You remember? Jo door ka handle tha, na, ob, knob. In that how we wrote, k, n, na. So k is silent, but the sound is coming of alphabet, n, that is na. Similarly here also, we will write k, but the sound will not come. Alphabet k is silent alphabet here. Clear? So let us see how we are writing, how we are going to write that. Na. Now why I have written K? K will be written but the sound will be silent. Then N O. Oh sorry. N O O T. It's not. Clear? What we have written? N O O T. Not. Understood that? And what is a not? I have just shown you. Not is kisi cheez mein gaat lagana. Clear? It can be a rope. Sometimes we play. And if you want to make a big rope out of hankies, to aap ek hanky ke saath dusre hanky mein knot lagate and with the help of that we can make a big rope out of it. Clear? Okay. So this is knot. N or knot. And knot means gaat lagana. Now moving to the next picture. So very common problem with all of you. So when you are wearing white uniform, uh, your house days, like today, Wednesday and Friday, you wear your house uniform. So something uh, that is white in color, your shorts are white in color. Now if you are doing coloring or you are having your lunch and something fall on it. Oh, white dress ka to pura band jata hai. Isn't it? Isn't it? Happens na? Kya hota hai? Aise aise? Kya lag jata hai uspe? Spot. Spot means daag lagna. When you are playing outside, Aapko mud lag gai hai dress ke oopar. Or if you are drinking milk and it spills on you. Wo aapke oopar khin jata hai, aapke oopar gir jata hai. What happens? Spot a jata hai uska? Even if you are drinking water or water dress pe gir jata hai, to kya hota hai? Us time pe gila gila spot ban jata hai na? Baad mein wo dry ho jata hai. I know that. But ek baar it develops a spot. So what is the word? Spur. Ot. Spot. Understood? See how we are going to write. Now we are going to blend two sounds to get spur. Sir and per. So when sir and per are spelled together. Jab hum unko saath mein spell karte hai, bolte hai. So what the sound comes? Spur. Sir and per. Mixing together and spelling it out. The word will come spur. Spur. Ot. Again we are going to write ot. So what we got? Spur or spot. 
the word that we got here is spur or spot now you can use this word easily jab bhi kuch lag jata hai mama i got i uh, sorry mama there is a spot on my dress ab aap ye thodi bolenge mama kuch gir gaya are mama something has fallen and i had a spot on my dress so this is how you can use the word spot and you can increase your vocabulary similarly mama see mama give me dot mama i have drawn a dot mama i have joined the dots isn't it hot mama my milk is hot papa is drinking hot coffee then not mama give me i tie some knots pot mama give me water from pot clear this is how you can use your words now moving to the last picture which i have drawn is a cot k ot so now here this k is c k is k this k sound is mixed with ot sound and we get the word cot k ot cot so what is cot there are two explanations which can be given for cot this picture is charpai or khat what is that if you have ever seen your grandparents or in your villages in your native towns they are using it hum isko kya kehte hain khat ye wood ka frame hota hai jiske upar hum log coconut ki ropes tie karte hain theek hai so jo coconut shell hoti hai jab wo dry ho jata hai uska rope banate hain and we tie that and that is like a bed and but this bed can be moved anywhere clear so jisko hum charpai kehte hain or we can call it khat second cot which we can refer here is a small bed which is specially made for kids or you can say small new born babies aapne dekha hai ek bed hote hai jiske upar charo taraf uh, walls create ki jati hai using uh, wooden rods wooden rods charo taraf lagate hain so that the child might not fall down clear so that is also called cot understood so today we have learned about odd sound words which sound words we have learned odd sound words now let us see the words d odd dot h odd hot p odd pot n odd not so when you are spelling this word you will say n no. k and n mixed together n no. n odd not sp odd spot k odd cot understood that okay now moving towards today's book work so work to be done on book page number book page number 51 so 51 is today's class work so this page is your today's class work and when you will open this book again you will find two sentences down so read those sentences when you are writing the word clear now moving towards today's homework today we are going to write odd sound words in our notebook as well as you will also try drawing these pictures they are not difficult so try drawing these pictures they are like they will enhance your drawings also clear so let us see how we are going to do our today's homework okay so class now we'll see how we are going to write odd sound words in our notebook today clear so first thing is we are going to write today's date that is 7th october 2020 this is our date and write h w here after that write the topic odd sound words so like this odd sound words clear now let us start writing the words so the first word that we learnt was k odd cot so let's write k odd cot clear k odd cot then we did d odd dot 
After cot, we learnt the ot dot. Then we did. Tell me, her ot hot. Her ot hot. Then, per ot pot. Per ot pot. After that, we have learnt spur ot spot spur ot spot and last n ot not we have learned n ot not is that clear to all of you the words that we did today is k ot cot d ot dot h ot hot p ot pot Spur or spot, n or not. Clear? So with these words, you are going to draw the pictures also. So for dot, make a square and draw a dot like this. Then we have hot. So you can draw a cup. Clear? Like this, draw a cup and the steam is coming out. So you have seen all the pictures now like this. On, the, uh, on this side of the margin you are going to draw the pictures of all these picture, of all these words. And after that write these words for another three more times. Is that clear your today's homework also? So repeatedly I am saying don't forget to draw the pictures and color them as well. Clear? So class, I hope you have understand your today's odd sound. So complete your work, share your work, complete your home, uh, class work first and homework you can do after all your classes get over. Clear? So complete your English work and get ready for the next class. Okay, bacha?